my most dear, esteemed, and noble viewer. I want to discuss how your consciousness, how the world's consciousness has been trapped. I want to discuss the methods of the entrapment and the means of reclamation of our consciousness and the knowledge that will enable the reclamation of that consciousness that is so very vital to to our ascension to your ascension to the new earth the secrets and the lies that have been carefully constructed by a ruling elite that must now be burned in effigy there are numerous methods used to hold the world, to hold you, to hold me, all of us in obedience. Applied since the earliest days of our birth here on this planet. There is an order to the process of possessing the human race that has been possessed. There is a process, a a simplistic pattern which is known in the inner circles of the secret government uh, within the Illuminati, the dark cabal, the deep state, but is known as the recipe. And I am here to reveal the knowledge of the recipe to you, my most dear and esteemed viewer. Please hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and buckle in. Now this is comprised, this recipe is comprised of seven essential ingredients for stirring human emotion into desired behavioral blends of obedience, resignation, and submission. The first ingredient of the recipe that the negative Anunnaki, the, the world government, the world management team, the deep state, however you like to refer to the filth, to the scum. But by disconnecting 10 of our 12 light-coated filaments of our human DNA and placing and the activation of an electromagnetic grid placed around planet Earth, these dissonant frequencies scattered the cosmic light waves and disrupted the gossamer web so that the family of light could no longer reach us. And that was maintained for thousands of years, although that frequency fence has been done away with. The, the soul station on the moon, done away with. The Saturn, the Saturn uh, frequency stations, done away with. But manipulating, this is how it was done in the past. past. Now it is just purely through tricks of consciousness and psychology, but manipulating earth frequencies to hold the planet in imbalance and accentuating the three-dimensional polarity, keeping us always in this fight or flight, good or evil. But the recipe is comprised of even more insidious ingredients, such as holding the races in isolation from all extraplanetary intelligence while separating them from each other, encouraging their division by race, sex, religion, and community, stimulating hate, fear, prejudice, and resentment in the base human emotional frequencies, feeding their animal cells through the survival and sexuality centers, through entrainment, subliminal manipulation, and mind control, creating false leaders, icons, in whom the mass the majority of people will place their trust when things are proceeding well and blame them when they're not. The smoke and mirror world of politics, the, which is essentially amounts to nothing more than professional wrestlers, duking it out in some perceived struggle in the ring for all the masses to see, but when the match is over, they're patting each other on the back and talking about their next match. Anyway, rewarding the obedient punishing the rebellious, 
rewarding the obedient, punishing the rebellious, as, as elementary as it seems, for surely we cannot claim to explain away all of this mental prison with these seven, these, in, these ingredients that I outlined, but these remain general parameters of control that are still being used against you as they have been throughout human history. So these secrets must now be exposed and the lies that we've all lived under, their ashes scattered and healed in the cosmic sea of all that is. We have to examine the higher consciousness of the family of light that's dormant within all of us, awaiting the awakening of what has always been yours, the reclamation of your consciousness. The, the very concept of competition that based upon, that was, that is based upon the fiat currency of the Babylonian bankster system of wage slave wage slavery of stimulating your consciousness with the concept of competition to to consume and to believe that your existence is validated and realized through material things but this concept of competition is a construct created from the foulest semen of a romanized British elite and an elite only via a carefully contrived construct construct that is only perceived in their own minds and in those who have been hypnotized via the projected hypnosis routines through their mockingbird news media the fake lamestream news through hypnosis routines through their Hollywood hologram movie constructs in submission this perceived Romanized British elite that their queen has been removed and exposed the whole reptilian cesspit that was the British monarchy but a Romanized British elite that was in submission to a decrepit Vatican cesspit now dismal all within their decline since the passing of their queen and their whole reptilian veneer exposed by the great David Icke but that whole system of competition keeping people uh, you know, in some kind of anxiety state with having to realize in their validated existence through the, this Babylonian bankster false wage slave system. But, but you see, my dear and esteemed viewer, all of this reclamation of our consciousness, of our sovereignty, of, of our self-empowerment begins with forgiveness and travels on the waves of unconditional love. We light workers, we people that are speaking our truth, however you brand yourself, but as long as you're doing it and continually, continuously exposing the lies and the secrets, con continuously looking beyond the veil, those who have the courage to do so have come to help penetrate the smoke screen and clear our way for our passage from the desert days of where we are at into the time of no time of the new earth of the golden age this is a process of operating in correct mind and action and in reclamation of consciousness it's about getting at the secret story and extracting it from the blanket of lies that has been wrapped around our world for far too long it's about living in truth and it does begin with forgiveness and travels on the waves of unconditional love from within our heart center. But people of the earth, beware. It is here in human form, an atrocity laced with greed, filled with evil intentions, and has been ready to attack and continues to attack. It still has, even though the dark has been defeated, it will still continue to rear its ugly head to exercise its control routines of hypnosis to en ensnare your consciousness but they're looking for their next victim simply profiting on the visions of others their parasites the dark emotions that run through its veins it's trying to make our veins its motives are false its mind is insane this foulest semen of a Romanized British elite 
the Illuminati dark cabal that's still kicking in its last throes, its death, death throes. But this alien breed is essentially what they are of the negative Anunnaki. Those, those sons and daughters of Marduk, who Marduk has been sent back to source. Marduk is no longer. It is now only the lower echelons of the Illuminati, this Romanized phallus semen of a Romanized British elite that is only elite in their minds. But this alien breed, we scientists, we cosmic scientists, and we spiritual warriors, earth scientists of the world must unite. Our services are more than needed to speak our truth because this creature in human form is out of control and looks can be deceiving. See beyond the shell, the flesh, the genetic, genetic container and look into their eyes because their eyes mean nothing. Their words are just the words of a toothless mutterings of an old hag decrepit in the last days of their existence, their mortal shell perishing. The truth, the time it will tell. Before you think you fool the world, you alien breed, what comes around goes around. Shown for what you are, a waste of life. A true waste of human life with your pathetic, pathetic mumblings of trying to ensnare the consciousness of the world. Your lies have been exposed. And I'm gonna tell you the secret of what this world is all about whether you know it or not, but that every salesperson, every attorney, every lawyer that rapes a snake on a Bible, every politician, every cop, every husband and wife having a quarrel, and they're just using their this hypnosis as well as they know how to, how to hypnotize somebody with their own, their own narrative. So I'm gonna tell you, the world, this world that the the negative Anunnaki had created and tries to maintain through this concept of competition of intelligence realized through merely data on the mental plane is a world is a circus it's just a circus with rival gangs of hypnotists trying to hypnotize one another and that's really what it all comes down to and if you agree hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and we will continue this journey of these rival gangs of hypnotists trying to hypnotize one another with their their stories of times in Olympus and whatnot. But see, here in Texas, that ain't how we do. We always talk straight, we shoot straight, we we ride hard, and we speak the truth. And that's how we do here in Texas. And if you do the same way, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, stay tuned for the next installment, the next video offering from the Umbanda New Earth Ashram for compassion and strength. Namaste. Namaskaram.